Okay, so welcome back to my channel. And this is my first sit and talk series where I talk about like schools, internships, and just anything career related. And a little about me, I am an engineer by training. I did my undergraduate studies in electrical engineering at the University of Waterloo. And um, right after I graduated, and also like after six internships um, through the Waterloo's co-op program, I realized that I want a job that is more high level, such as product management or um, data science. So that is why I chose to do a master's right out of, I guess, undergrad. And uh, I did my master's at the University of Toronto in um, human-centered data science. It's, I guess, a two-year new program. It's very new. And um, it's part of Toronto's iSchool. Um, I can talk about my uh, master's program in another series, but for today's talk, I want to focus on my experience with Waterloo and um, how, I guess, I appreciated the program at the University of Waterloo, like how versatile electrical engineering was to get me into, I guess, the career that I want to embark on. So I actually have like my computer right here to like <laughs> look at the list of things that I want to talk about. And uh, so excuse me if I'm just like looking down a lot. So like I mentioned before, like electrical engineering is probably like one of the most versatile degrees out there. Like just because you're doing electrical engineering doesn't mean you have to do electrical engineering work when you graduate. I can talk about like Waterloo specifically. So for the first two years, we learn about like everything technologies. We learn about like maybe like circuits, so like PCBs and uh, like logical gates, like the binaries, like how coding works. And then once you're educated on like the basic, I guess, tech aspect of things, you can diversify your experience. You can choose to go into power because that's like what electrical engineers do. Like you can go into power, you can go into hardware, so like circuit stuff. Um, you can go into software, like myself. I was doing a lot of CS courses by the time I reached fourth year. You can go into network. You like I think your options are limitless. And the reason why I think electrical engineering might be like more versatile and better, maybe not better, but like just, I guess like electrical engineering is just a degree that proves that you're smart enough to do anything. And I've seen a lot of my classmates going into like software management, hardware or data science straight out of undergrad. So getting a job is not a problem. So that's how versatile, that's the versatile point that I wanted to talk about. And then, so how Waterloo works is that you do four years and eight months of school to be exact. And um, throughout those, I guess, approximately five years, you do like four months of school and four months of internship rotating. So by the time you reach the end of your study, you will have like six internships under your belt. Um, I think it's great because like without realizing you're just accumulating all of the experience that you can get. Um, especially for like first year students, like when you're just 18, you, well, I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I guess, what helped me was being open to all kinds of careers. So um, I can talk about my experience briefly to, um, I guess, give you a story on how I decided that I wanted to pursue something more high level instead of like just pure engineering. So I started off at Sun Life Financial, which is one of the biggest, I guess, financial insurance companies in Canada. And uh, I was working, my title was NOC Analyst. So I was working in the data center, coordinating different network install upgrading projects. 
So from that experience, because I knew I really want to do something technical and hands-on, I found the opportunity to work on some of the website stuff and as well as some scripting. So VBA script is a good way to automate like just the basic Excel or like Word task if you want to like I guess automate the email templating process VBA script is just something easy that everyone can do even if you like have zero experience in coding so that's what I picked up and uh, there are also modems in the data center that um, I guess serve as that might be too technical, but I'll just talk about it. If you connect with me, sure. If you don't, just listen. So uh, modems are the essentially the backdoor access whenever like we cannot tell net to a certain device. So it happens when the, um, I guess, during a network upgrade, when the network is down, so there's no way to access a physical device unless we use the telephony line that is connected to a modem. So that's basically part of my intern project where I like kind of improve the script that dials into the modems to ensure that they respond and the script runs like every night. So I guess it's something important and I like, I see real results right away. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I mentioned there's opportunity to build a website. So I did that. There's opportunity to uh, work on the modem script. I also did that. And then there was the automation for like email templates. And I also did that. So that's how um, when I interviewed at Ford Motors as a software engineer, um, they just took me because like I was just reaching beyond what was required of me. I was more of a program coordinator, but I was always like reaching beyond my, um, I guess, domain expertise. <laughs> I didn't really have a domain expertise. so. Once you start the software engineering route, it just becomes so much easier to get a second internship also in software engineering. For me personally, I got a second software engineering job at NVIDIA where I was working on essentially the whole process to enable data analytics because I was working on the infrastructure team for um, a hardware like hardware product where there is I guess different engine different types of engineers working on different projects so my job was to look for like any inefficiencies in the overall system and try to improve them and the project that was assigned to me was more of a data analytical project that goes from I guess the back end is like a script pulling the different data from electrical CAS system as well as a mechanical CAS system. And um, from that, it goes into the database and from the data space, it connects to, I guess, a uh, visualization tool. And the one that I used was Tableau. So that job actually landed me another job across the street. So NVIDIA, Santa Clara, there are multiple buildings. So I started off working in Endeavor and then I switched over to the software building located in building C. So um, I was working on the cloud infrastructure team, working on the visualization dashboard for Kubernetes. Basically internship is essentially a jump, jumping board where um, you don't have to know everything for your next job, but um, your previous work like somehow needs to prove that you can pick up the tech stack and just run this it when you start on the job. So yeah, so that's basically the end of my software engineering experience. So from NVIDIA, I went to Microsoft to work as a product marketing manager. And that's the time when I already hit my senior year. So yeah, so I was a product marketing manager working on a cloud product. So you can see how the cloud infrastructure thing 
yeah so you can see how like software engineering gives me another software engineering job doing infrastructure and infrastructure leads me to cloud infrastructure and cloud infrastructure leads me to like a cloud PMN job. PMN stands for like product marketing manager. So yeah, like somehow you just need to have like some qualifications. You don't need to meet all the qualifications as an intern. And uh, one job always leads to like something that can be very different when you're still an intern. So essentially I did that. So I was focused on AI and uh, machine learning and like all the buzzwords, but it's just really like <laughs> all the APIs available for, I guess, data intelligence, which is another layer beyond data analytics. So when I was exposed to machine learning and artificial intelligence, I was like, cool, this is like, sick like how do i get more into it that's when i started looking into some of the hci programs which stands for human computer interaction okay that was just my logic like before i started grad school so i was just thinking that maybe um because i'm not like someone who's very into research so obviously i cannot be a machine learning engineer but or machine learning scientist but what I can bring is maybe like my people skills, how I understand the users, how I can conduct interviews, and how I understand the technical aspect as well. So that's why I started looking into, I guess, some of the programs in human computer interactions. And that is also how I uh, did, well, I decided to do a master's in, um, human-centered data science, which is how it led me to my current role as a technical program manager. I think I talked enough, like I really appreciated the program at the University of Waterloo, like they sell the six internships, I wouldn't know what I'm interested in, or I wouldn't know like, um, I guess the entire tech, industry and what kind of roles there would be without going through them myself. So that's what I appreciate. I also appreciate the fact that once you finish the electrical engineering degree, I think people assume you're smart <laughs> because it was hard. It was hard for me to like stay with the class and to finish my degree on time. Everyone was just so intelligent, but if you stick to it, there's like light at the end of the tunnel. I think this is what like some senior members, like upper years told us like during frosh week or whatever. I didn't really take that, but like now I'm like, it's so cliche that I'm just like saying that now because really like if you stick with it, it's hard, but without knowing, you will have so much more experience compared to your like, I don't know, high school friends when you graduate and you will really appreciate like how versatile the program is as well because it just opens doors to like I said so many different jobs you can do software engineering if you want you can do uh, product management you can also be a hardware engineer and design like PCBs or even if it's like hardware or if it's in software, there are so many different options. Like software, there's like infrastructure, there's like web development, <laughs> there's like DevOps, hardware, there's like support. You can do like, I don't know, you can like write scripts, even as a hardware engineer. There's just so many options. <laughs> so guys, just stick to the program. Even if you're thinking of switching right now, just electrical engineering is lit. Okay, that was a lot of rant, and I hope you enjoyed my talk, and uh, I think I'll end the video right here. Thank you for watching.